Hey guys, my name is Josh, and today I'm gonna show you how to master Reyna in Valorant. This is gonna be an easy video for you guys to go over. This is my second day on the mouse and keyboards, second day of playing Valorant, so you guys can do this too. If you guys are a new viewer, consider subscribing. I make video game guides, tutorials, and tips. If you guys are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for supporting the channel. And without further ado, let's talk about Valorant and let's get to it. All right, guys, so let's talk about Reyna and how to use her effectively. Right off the bat, I did win the first match and got three kills with her, but I'm about to go in the second match. My recording just didn't pick up on the first matchup, so let's just talk about her and how to use her effectively. I do get a lot of kills, and you guys will see that. So here, um, what I'm doing in this match, in this map, is that her Leer ability is a good ability to obviously flash opponents. Uh, placing the Leer is very critical because if I place it, let's say by this wall and let's say this person here is an enemy they'll get blinded whereas this person here it doesn't look at it they won't get blinded let's say for another example if I am placing the Leer let's say here and they're staring this way and this one is staring that way and they're not looking to the line sight of my Leer that's behind them they won't be affected so just know that the Leer needs to be in their line of sight for it to work and you want to place it in an area where they have to look down or up if you do it in the middle it's an easy blast to take out with two shots but if i place it up or down i kind of lose their focus in terms of aim while they're you know obviously blinded i can get the easy kill with reyna get their soul and either use uh devour dismiss uh and i'll discuss what i do here so um Right here, what I'm doing is obviously using Leer. And if you look at the map, you do see an indicator um, in terms of the positioning of that Leer. So let me go back real quick and show you guys what I mean by that. Again, this is all teaching you guys how to use her. So you see the Leer on my map, upper left-hand corner. Up here, if you see the ring here, that's telling you that it's out. The cool thing about it is that one, it, it uh, actually identifies the enemies that it sees. So let's say there's an enemy there on my X that actually sees the Leer. It'll actually notify on my map that they're there. So it's a cool way to actually get those call outs uh, and for your team to know as well. So let me clear this out and just let me get this going. So the whole point of Leer is obviously blinding them and doing it with your team members. This is not a lone wolf type of player. Even though she might seem so. Uh, you play really well with someone beside you also with Loba so right there sorry let me I just cut myself off real quick uh, right there on that kill I had the option to go for Q and E Q is the um, devour and E is the dismiss Q obviously heals you up to 100 and then brings your shield up to 50 it's cool because again you're replenishing back your health Whereas um, Dismiss, it's more to disengage. Uh, and again, I would say most of the time what you're gonna be using with Reyna is more of the Devour. But once you use the ultimate, you can actually have Devour uh, on it automatic. So it'll basically work automatically as you rock with the kills and your timer on your ultimate resets for each additional kill. So all you're using is just Dismiss to kind of move and flank opponents. So again, Reyna, she is a great agent. The thing you gotta be careful with her is that you gotta have your mechanics aligned. And I mean, you gotta know how to shoot in this game. Otherwise, you're pretty much a liability in the aspect that if you cannot land your shots and get these kills, as you guys will see right now, there we go. Again, I get the E and Q. Every time you kill somebody, you can get their soul, either do uh, devour or dismiss. You have to know how to shoot with her. If you don't, then I'd rather you guys pick an agent that has a beneficial uh, playing style like Sova uh, just because you're, you're benefiting from this and right now I'm, I'm gonna keep going into the matchups and just kind of cut to the chase to show you the examples of what I'm doing but Reyna is effective if you know how to shoot just so you guys know I know this is a guide to teach you guys but this is my second day playing on mouse and keyboards if you guys believe me or not uh, I've been a console gamer for like the my whole life um, and I'm pretty darn good on my second day uh, I rack up a lot of kills you guys will see at the end how many kills I get um, but if I can do this I know you guys can and I know 
one of the aspects of this game that you have to be really good on and I think it's 50% of the game is your aim so if you guys aren't good with that then I would kind of hold back on using so again you want to make sure also with your movements your fundamentals that you are either crouching walking so you're not giving out that noise you're not letting people know you're nearby again I have a leer just in case I could put them through the walls look at the map I actually have a signal there if you look at the map you can actually see if anyone saw my leer which no one did but the cool thing about the leer is that it could go through walls so technically it doesn't have to go through a pathway that has sight I could just put it in between walls and get it to the other side so again you want to make sure your aim is clean make sure you get that good shot Also, if you guys don't know about this map, you actually can close that door to create that blockage. And it's all about patience. You also don't want to attack too soon. You want to be very patient on your gameplay. This is not no 4v4 Halo style, Call of Duty multiplayer style. Here we go. Be careful with your shots. Take your time. At the same time, try to land a headshot to get a kill. Here we go. There we go again. Headshot. I could have gotten the uh, the solar, but I didn't press it. And the one thing you guys have to know too is that the soul needs to be in your line of sight for you guys to get it. Let's say if it's if the soul was in here, and I went back into this corner, then the line of sight of the line cuts off, and then you can't really use that um, ability to either get the devour or dismiss. So just keep that in mind, guys. You got to make sure it's in your line of sight. So let me clear this out. Keep this going. Again, it's patience. You gotta be very patient. So let's get on to the next round. Let's cut to the chase. Again, throwing Leer. Look at the map. Do you see anybody? Nope. Look at the upper left-hand corner, guys. I don't see anyone. No one's actually seen my Leer. So we're good to go to go inside. They might be in the corner. Trying to hold space. Here we go. So the ultimate. Right off the bat, guys. The ultimate gives you 30 seconds. It's impress. Basically, it refines everything. Your shooting, your reload. Uh, you're pretty much jacked up arena. And if you actually kill an opponent, you will reset the timer back to 30 seconds. So that's pretty cool. And the feature about it I like too is that the devour is already automatically applied. So you get a kill, you replenish, you replenish health, and then... It, you only thing you need to do is just the uh, the dismiss so um, that's a pretty cool feature and then you're pretty much jacked up to get the kill so this is basically an ace moment and you want to use the ultimate um, pretty much at the beginning of the matchup not at the end when there's only one opponent unless you need to and it's like an end game type of situation where it's like um, you know final match whoever wins wins go for it or if it's a critical win you guys want to get for sure but always place it at the beginning because then you have five opponents. If you kill one, you get 30 seconds. If you kill another one, you get another 30 seconds. So just think of it like that. You gotta think of it as a domino effect and not really waste on it on just one person and then the match ends. If you guys get what I'm trying to say here. So again, she's jacked up. I can get the kills easily. And she moves really fast. You're about to see that right now. So you gotta be very careful, patient. We do see an enemy back to that shot on my map. Go for that kill. There we go. Healing. As you guys can see on my um, lower left hand corner. And now we're trying to go for the other kill. And see what we can do. Remember, look at the impress time, which is the lower right hand corner. You guys will see here. Uh, it's basically your timer ticker going by to give you an idea of where you stand. Again, land those shots. If you can't, it's all good. Here we go. It's just spreading butter. All butter. Potato shots. All good, baby. All good. So here we go. You see the, the line of sight of the um, devour. So it's basically in my line of sight. If I go to the right and I go behind this wall, it cuts off. And then you really don't use that. Or you could use what you used. But if you're trying to replenish back to 100, you probably would have been back to like 90 or so. Uh, if, you're trying to, if you catch what I'm trying to say, like you just want to make sure it's in your line of sight. 
and that kind of gives off the enemies where you're at too so you gotta be very careful on the situation whereas if you use um dismiss you do become a ghost effect but it stops your abilities too you can't shoot while you're in that uh, approach the only reason why i would use it is just to um disengage the situation trying to like push back uh but most of the time with this character you want to keep engaging but with a teammate as well so keep this going obviously easy pick from that enemy team but right now we got those eight kills so you guys are seeing we're racking up some kills right now doing a good job through my layer again going through that pathway try to see what's going on easy pick from the enemy team let's get back to it let's get to another round again i just want to keep getting to the point of reyna i can i could not focus less on my teammates i really want to focus on her abilities and how to use her okay here we go Remember, be quiet, be silent, don't give up your positioning. If you hear footsteps coming from the left side, that means they're coming from the back. You know, if you have like headphones, that's going to help you a lot in terms of figuring out their movement. Here we go. Headshot, easy kill, baby. And then you get the devour, bam, healing up. So again, you got to land these shots. You got to be really good with it. You got to be good with your mechanics. Here we go again. Remember, be patient. Be patient. Hey, easy kill for the enemy. Good one. We got nine kills and three deaths. Throughout Lear, we found a team. Remember that the Lear can be destroyed from the opposing team with two shots. Again, play it smart. Hold your position. Crouch when you need to. Throw off that aim. Keep your crosshairs in the middle. And you should be good. Throw a leer in between the walls, blind someone inside. We should be good because no one detected it. All right, hold your corners, look at your corners. Be patient, walk if you need to. Again, be very careful, crouch if you need to too, just to throw off that aim for the enemy squad, not yourself. Again, be patient. Don't be running around. They might peek. They might show up right now. Let's close this door. Let's hold our position. Remember, play it smart. There we go. We got the kill from the teammate. So again, just play smart, guys. But again, yeah, Reyna's pretty awesome. I, I love her style. Here we go again. Still that layer in between the walls. See if you detect anyone. We're good. They're obviously hiding behind that wall on the other side. 5v4. Here we go. Throw it against the wall. Blind someone. Look at the map. I don't see anyone. All right. We're probably safe, but look at Haven. Look at, look at uh, the top. And we should be good. Hold positioning, hold positioning. Get that kill, baby. And remember, you have three seconds to get that orb, so it's not there forever. So remember, your reaction needs to be quick too. And press either Q or E. But most of the time, you're gonna be pressing Q because you need to replenish that health. Keep it going. Cool, we gotta kill. We gotta win. Let's go. All right, again, same process. We got him. So let me show you guys that again. All right. So that was a good example. And I'm going to show you guys why. So here I throw the Leer, right? Now remember, I told you guys to always look at the map. My Leer already detected an enemy. So that is a good example to have eyes on that map at the same time. My main focus, my eyes are always in the middle. Obviously everywhere else, but you also need to detect your map. Because it could be a detection of... Maybe your teammates finding an enemy. Maybe the enemy was walking or shooting too loud. But I know my Leer was placed here in this pathway, which caught an enemy. So keep that in mind when using her. To keep your eyes peeled. Like an orange peel. Alright, let's keep this going. Remember, hold positioning. Use those corners. Play it smart. Don't be too aggressive. You guys are the attackers of the defenders. So you gotta play smart. 
Don't worry about that poison, ain't gonna do much. Again, maybe throw it off with a crouch. Walk, crouch. Remember, you don't always want to be standing up because people will have their crosshairs in the middle and with a throw off by a crouch, you'll be at an advantage. Again, play it smart. Be very careful. Oh, here we go, baby. Look at that. The reaction time needs to be very quick there too. You just saw that guy could have killed me easily if he had landed his shots to my head. But I quickly reacted to take him out. So that's what I mean with with uh, Reyna. You got to be very quick. And this is just my second day, guys. Which tells me you guys can do this too. And I'm going to keep throwing that out there because if I can do it, you guys can. All right, throw it in the middle. Let's see. Do we see anyone? Oh, there we go. Blinded. Good example right there, baby. All right, so let me show you guys why I want to show you guys this again for the new players playing Reyna. You see the enemy? They're blinded. They can't see. They won't see me. And I place the orb up high. You don't want to place it in the middle because that's an easy kill. You always want to place it up top or even low on the floor just to get their line of sight. After that, they're blinded. You can get the easy pick. Just keep that in mind, guys. Don't make it too easy on the uh, enemy squad to uh, take out your orb with two shots. Let's keep this going. Get that kill. Ooh, they're playing good. They're playing good. All right, all right, teammate. Getting me healed up. All right. Here we go, baby. I got that kill. Let's go for another kill. Ooh, almost, almost, almost. All right, here goes another round. The Lear. I don't see anyone. They're probably hiding against that wall. I'm all good. Oh, got picked. No worries. It's all good. Let's do this again. Next round. We got 12 kills. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, actually, same round, guys. Same round. Same round. Take that back. Teammate is actually getting me back up. That's why I actually kept this. All right. So let's get this going. Same round, guys. Let's see what we do here. If you hear anybody in the back, because they could be flanking from the back. Make sure you guys always look straight, but look back. Okay, so this right here. Yeah, I would have died, but I almost caught her too. All right, the Lear, there we go. My map caught it. Again, practice, practice, practice. You guys will get really good with her. But remember, your aim needs to be key. Throw Lear between the walls, catch it. There is someone on heaven corner. Remember you can shoot through that uh, box because it's not something that's structured. So your bullets could go through. Hold positioning, hold positioning, play it smart. We have the upper hand, it's 5v2. No need to play aggressive. Let's close that door if we get to it. Close it. All right, let's block our team. Let's play it smart. Cool. Next situation. In this room, now we're in the other side. We are the defenders. Got the easy kill, baby. Headshot with that pistol. Healing. Remember, if I... There we go. That's a good example. So, I threw it up, right? That's the goal. You always want to throw it up high or throw it low. Throw off the aim off the enemy squad. So... What you're about to see is the orb situation that I was telling you guys. So, I do get the pick here. There we go, baby. Now I'm getting the line, right? But the line's going to get caught off right now. Cut. So you see what I mean? It, it didn't fully heal my shield if you look at the bottom uh, left-hand corner. So if I had actually stayed in the line of sight, I could have. But the reason why I did that is because if a team made of hers flying that came inside, I would have been killed. Because uh, obviously it's giving up my line. So you got to be smart too in these situations on how much exposure you want to give yourself. So let's keep this going. Remember also this is not a one man game. You got to have some really good teammates. And I do have really good teammates on this squad. Uh, which is a solo queue for me. Again play it smart. Let's see if we can catch anybody. Be patient. No need to be too aggressive. 
we are the leaders right now at versus uh, nine to three. So I need to be too hungry. Again, play it smart. See if we can pick the opponent up here. Soba used that recon bolt, which is very useful, very useful character. Okay, play it smart, guys. go here we go let's see if we do anything Ooh, almost but I did get some shots so one cool feature about this map when you guys are playing as a defenders let me go back you always want to throw it where I'm throwing it just because you know the entrance if you look at my map you know the enemy entrance is right here where my yellow line is at. there's a wall obviously they're going to be pushing aggressively. I could just throw my Leer there. Or one thing you could do is just wait here. Have your Leer out. As you hear footsteps approaching, throw that sucker in. Because they're not going to detect that you're there. Unless they throw a recon bolt or they know you're there for some reason. You gave off some noise. They won't. So if I do that too, then I'm playing it way smarter as well. Because now I'm hearing their footsteps. Throw it. They're blinded. Go in there quickly for the kill. Pick them out. Bam. I get like two, three easy kills. Uh, if you can actually aim really well. If you can't, then you might just get one. So let me keep showing you guys these examples. Look at the Leer map. Let's see what we can do. Remember, be patient. Careful. Play against the walls. Play around the corners. Don't be too close to the corners. All right. See what we can do. Ooh, one shot, baby. One shot. There we go. Devour. Line of sight. So now you guys see what I mean. Like she's a momentum. She's she's a momentum type of character. Like if you can't land these shots, she has no point in terms of using her as her to her abilities. If you cannot land shots, if you cannot get those kills, this legend or not legend, but the agent becomes um not useful for you and that's where you might want to go to Sova or some other agent that's just beneficial without getting any kills if you guys catch what I'm trying to say because uh, Reyna is very um, self-driven but at the same time doesn't mean to be a lone wolf you gotta always ride with your teammates and make sure you guys work together but I can handle these guys on my own and be uh, and kind of let my teammates know if they're coming or not whereas most of my teammates are going together so you gotta know how to play it too so again, playing it smart. Let's see what we do here. Oh, I remember this one. I think this is when I take too long to discharge the bomb. But pretty good game. Get that kill there. Ooh, never mind. That wasn't the one. All right, so here we go again. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Be quiet, be patient, land your shots, crouch, walk, don't run. All right, let's see what we can do here. All right, trying to see what we can catch. Very quiet with your movement. There we go, baby. So, again, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Throw it in now. Get the footsteps. Probably push back. Again, be very careful in how you approach the situation. Of 
crouch, block. All right. All right, remember if you flip it to your uh, knife, you actually walk faster. Here we go, here we go. We gotta catch up with some speed. It's 4v3. All right, let's see what we can do. All right, shoot that guy out. You can blow it out. Here we go. There we go, baby. And that take a little too long here. Newbie move, but it's all good. It's all good. I still got my kill. But again, playing it smart, playing it aggressive, you know, when need to be very choosy. Again, take your time. Here's some footsteps. You're probably going to show where I'm at. Be very silent and walk slow. Again, there we go, baby. One. Two, baby. One, two. About to get the third one. Blinder. And then she gets caught up. So, again, I could have gotten three kills. I could have gotten a triple kill, but it's all good. It's a team game. Again, take your time with the Leer. If we don't have it, they're going to be pushing. All right, let's go, baby. You're down. You're hurting. Easy headshot. Ooh, almost landed that one. So again, you know, the opportunity is there for you to maximize in this game. Um, again, your aim doesn't need to be super perfect by any means, but pretty close. Uh, because otherwise, you're not really going to benefit from her and her usage. Um, if you guys look here, you know, like I said, this is probably my seventh game. Yeah, it's my seventh game playing Valorant, a Valorant style game. And this is my second day playing on PC and mouse. And keep in mind, guys, I'm not clocking in eight hour days. I'm probably playing this game for like a good two, three hours. Um, and just really doing a little bit of training at the beginning and then just going in there and playing. Um, and this score, what I achieve, um, is one of my best games so far. I think I could go for the 20 bomb, 25 bomb. Uh, even if I get lucky, maybe even a 30 bomb if you start getting really refined on your shooting and your play style. But again, what I'm trying to show to you guys is it's possible if I can do this and I have no practice with mouse and keyboard in terms of like time. I just barely been doing this for two days. That tells me you guys can do this too. But it's all based on also IQ, the way you think, the way you approach the situation because you just can't go in there Rambo style trying to get the win. Um, you got to play it very smart and let your team pick up the wins too. Um, but overall, guys, like the game is good. Rain is awesome. I hope this video helps. I'll create more videos on Reyna, Sova, and the additional agents. But this is it for me, guys. I hope you guys uh, enjoy my other content. And I'll catch you guys until the next one. Later, guys.